Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the sysprep was unable to validate your Windows installation. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to go ahead, and the first thing we're going to do is open up the start menu. Just off on the start button one time. Type in Windows PowerShell. Best match should come back on Windows PowerShell. Right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. So this is going to be the first command we're going to run here. It's going to be a Windows PowerShell command. And I want you to copy it directly out of my description of my video. So just copy the whole thing. And then in the PowerShell window here, you want to go up to the top bar, right click on it one time, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Once it's pasted in here, you want to hit enter. This is going to reset the default Windows apps to their original settings. So it will take a couple minutes to run here, so just want to be patient.
like I said, this will take some time to run, and once you have a blinking cursor at the bottom, that means it's finished. If you have a little bit of red, that's not necessarily the biggest deal in the world. You saw how many operations were running, just some of them will not finish successfully. That's really not a big deal. Close out of here, restart your computer, hopefully it's resolved your problem. If you're still experiencing a problem, you can try and open up the start menu. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to go back to registry editor. You want to right click on it and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now before you ever do anything in the registry, I would suggest screening a back above it. So in order to do that, you just would left click on the file tab up at the top left, left click on export, and now you would select underneath export range, select all, and then just save it to a convenient location. And as for file name, I would suggest more than likely, just for simplicity's sake, name it as the date in which you're creating the backup. Locate where you want to save the file to, and then left-click on Save. If you ever have to go back and restore your registry, just would do the File tab, and then Import. And then you would import it from wherever you saved on your computer. So pretty straightforward on that end. And once you're done creating a backup of your registry, now we can go ahead and jump right into the tutorial for the registry part. And we would expand the HK Local Machine folder, so double-click on it, or left-click on the little arrow next to it to expand it. Now you want to do the same thing for the system folder. So now just left click on the setup folder one time, do not double click on it. And on the right side there should be something that says upgrade reg D word. You want to right click on it and then left click on delete. Again it should say upgrade, right click and then it's going to say deleting certain registry values could cause system instability or you should want to permanently delete this value. Left click on yes, restart your computer and hopefully that should have been able to resolve the problem. Remember, we always have backup of the registry saved somewhere, so if you ever made a mistake, you can just restore it back to the previous version. So, pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. I do I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.